Melissa, tell me what uh, this amazing stuff that's going on today. So we, for seven years, we started um, Christmas Day because we're empty nesters. Kids want to stay home and open their gifts at home. So my husband and I, we decided because I cook every day, I'm going to cook. So a friend, a really close friend of ours was going away for Christmas and his mom lived down the street, University West, and asked if we would give her some food because he knew I was cooking. So I delivered food and my daughter's like, you know, you can get paid to do this. I said, why would I get paid to do this? So I made her, she was younger, to deliver it. And she's, you know, shy, I'm not delivering it. So I said, get out there. So 15 minutes later, I'm like, where is she? So anyways, she comes back and she's in tears and she's like, that lady was going to eat a peanut butter and jam sandwich. And I said, that's why I did this. I said, so at Christmas day, tradition is you have a hot Christmas dinner. We all do that. I was raised that way. And there's so many unfortunate who don't get to do that. So that's what we do. And sorry, seven years? Seven years. Tell me how many you're doing today and a little today bit Today about... we're sending out 240 dinners. We, they get turkey, ham, potatoes, carrots, rolls, homemade cranberry sauce, and a dessert. Um, we have a group that they go all the way to Port Hope. They're in Coburg, they're Baltimore. And we started it out with seniors. We put out a post and say, if you know anyone who's home alone for Christmas, who's not gonna do a dinner, send us their names. They send us a name, their address, their telephone number, and we deliver them a Christmas dinner. Emergency services? Um... We do because the police, paramedics, they can't be home with their families, we as well feed them. Um, this year we added in the ER, we used to send them to Cootery boards, but this year they're not allowed to share, so they're getting individual dinners as well. Fire department as well, you said? Fire department, there. paramedics, the, yes, community access um, sends us a list. So we, it's all variables of life. It started out mainly with seniors, but so now it's spread and we get cards from paramedics families thanking us for taking care of their kids on christmas day so it's it's nice what uh for this day how many turkeys do you go through when you do this for this day we did 16 turkeys i have six hams we've gone through 100 pounds of carrots and 200 pounds of potatoes it's uh i was trying to to describe watching you folks in there and it's like everybody has a job to do and everybody knows your job but it's almost surgical the way you go at things in there and when you have a small space i get told all the time you need a bigger shop but my crew has been the same crew for seven years i have a systematic brain i do everything the same way this every time i do it and i've trained all of them to do the same do you ever see the people that it goes to or you just hear their feedback? I just hear their feedback. I've never seen any of them. How and this they... is the first year the lady we started with isn't going to get a dinner because she sadly passed away. And that's so, yeah. Um, how does it make you feel though? Like it's uh, watching you, you know, it just about brings tears to my eyes watching you guys do this on Christmas Day for others surgical process the way you go at it police coming to pick up stuff the appreciation of the community it blows me away it's it's just i don't know it's just something i do it makes me happy to cook it keeps me busy if not i'd be sitting on the couch going what are we going to do now i like to keep going 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 so that's the way it is so thank you catches corners merry christmas everybody